Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns for Eye from <laughs> Next Gen Tactics. And Activision is at it again. Man, they're good. We love our Call of Duty, don't we? We love paying for our DLCs. We just shell out the cash. We don't know what the game's going to be like, but it says Call of Duty, and we're buying it. Well, don't put your wallets away yet, because a new uh, Call of Duty company is on the horizon, or actually already has been on the horizon, wholly owned by Activision. So this isn't another one of these companies that Activision buys and says, hey, this is a great product, and then pff, squashes it and takes the money and puts it elsewhere. It's like eliminating competition for them. Anyway, it's Beachhead. Beachhead is now working on uh, strictly online content. Not much is known about what they're actually going to deliver and what it actually is. All they said is innovate, innovative. Oh my God, is it? Innovative content and services for the Call of Duty franchise. I mean, seriously, we've got like, what is it? Five, five or six companies now working on Call of Duty. Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Raven, um, Beachhead, Treyarch. I don't know. I don't know who else is working on there. Maybe we should have other companies in the entire world. Toshiba, let's just make everything. Everyone will just start working on stuff. Whirlpool. Why make laundry machines when you can work on the Call of Duty series? Anyway, so we've got a ton of companies working on Call of Duty. And uh, Beachhead is supposedly working on innovative new uh, content. I know, like, I'm all hesitant. I'm like, ooh, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Innovative new content and services. Some are speculating that the, the platform is going to be something like uh, Valve or Steam or whatever. Sort of just a way of getting hold of all of the stuff that you want to pay for when you shell out the cash for it so that you can get it really fast, right? And they're saying it's going to integrate with the online experience and the consoles and stuff like that. So I don't, there's not a lot of information, but I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough, probably by year end. And then others are speculating that this is where the subscription base comes in. Sure, it's not subscription base for your box uh, console games like the Call of Duty you buy in the store, but if it's coming through this new online amazing experience we all get to share as long as we pay for it, then uh, then yeah, I mean there's who knows? I have no idea. I mean he said he said you know absolutely not. We will never remember. You all know he said that we will never be charged for multiplayer online. So I'm very curious to see what this is, and maybe it is. Maybe you get to buy unique guns for, for any of the Call of Duty games that you can't get anywhere else. So you can go in the game and say, look what I bought. I only paid $15.99 for this sucker. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. There's something wrong with it. Money well spent. Good job, little Joey. So who knows? Who knows what it's going to be like? Who knows if it's going to be an MMO? Is it going to be a unique online game? You know, a massive multiplayer online? Is it just going to be like for extra content? Nobody knows no. Uh, there's a lot of speculation. All we know is absolutely it's not going to be free. We all know that. So how do you feel about that? I want to know how you as Call of Duty, or you don't even have to be Call of Duty, as gamers, we all know how this the whole thing works. We shell out the money and that's the way it is. Do you think that this new innovative, as they're calling it, service and content for the Call of Duty franchise is going to be innovative, or is it just another way to give us mediocre content that we think is really good to grab that uh, that money? I mean, obviously they're a business. The bottom line is they're a business. You know that, I know that. They're not going to do anything that doesn't promote it. What's funny is that all these new services are coming out, and if you, you saw my other news story about Activision killing other games or killing more games or whatever it was, it was a colorful little title, wasn't it? Um, you know, they're laying off 500 employees across um, a board, you know, whatever the, the companies that they purchase. No more Guitar Hero, no more DJ Hero, no more True Crime, no Blizzard game for PC uh, at all this year or whatever, or even if it's not for PC, but no Blizzard game. All this money and everything, they're just funneling right into Call of Duty. I mean, they are, I don't know, man, like I've seen companies really sort of take pride in something, but they seem to be milking this one so bad. Like, everything is Call of Duty with Activision right now. And I think other aspects are just going to suffer from it. 
But I'm curious, I mean, are you looking forward to it? If you're a diehard Call of Duty fan, and I'm a diehard Call of Duty fan, I love Call of Duty, but there comes a point where I'm like, really? I mean, come on, I think that's enough. I don't need to spend even more. And the problem is, as a, as a video director covering this content, I'm obligated, when it comes out, I'm the first one in line. I'm the first one subscribing to it and showing you, hey, look what's here, hey, look what's here. And for $15.99, you can have pink boots when you're running around Black Ops. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be the sucker, the, the one in the lineup, getting this stuff for you. But how do you feel about it? Are you going to actually take place? I mean, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's going to be like an online gaming sort of community, subscription-based, which some are speculating? Or is it going to be more like Valve, uh, Steam, or whatever that, you know, the PC community, and is growing, and is actually growing in popularity? Is that, you know, Bobby looking at that going, ooh, look at them, they're making a lot of money, let's jump on board. Let's milk, let's milk this uh, <laughs> Call of Duty franchise. Those were cow's teats, by the way, not something else. Woo, anyway, <laughs> I'm Guns R' Hour from Next Gen Tactics. Leave your comments below, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Guys and gals. I know when I say guys, you both mean that. I just keep correcting myself. Anyway, I'm done. Bye. Hey, guys, we're on Netflix. Okay, well, we're not on Netflix, but we are officially sponsored by them now. Thousands of movies and TV shows available every day at the click of a button. For a free one-month trial membership, simply click on the link in the description, courtesy of NextGen Tactics. Yeah, you're welcome.